What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, we're going over the patch notes of the hotfix today on PC. Not sure if we're tapping on console yet, but uh, before we get into it, I just gotta do something really important real quick. Uh, let's just go ahead and unequip this garbage, because this is uh, useless now. So, let's just go ahead and switch, and much, much better. Alright, now we can actually start the video. So, the hotfix today increased the survivability stats of the operator. It also made Necros not work on the Void Angels for extra loot. So, if you are someone that watches the channel, you're welcome for giving you that strategy like three days ago before it got nerfed. It, it seriously got nerfed as fast as they possibly could when they got back to the office. So, yeah, we're going to go over that today. We'll show how the operator survivability changes are. And also, I'm going to have a live, or not live, but a <laughs> pre-recorded Void Angel uh, fight with the Necros dog uh, Chesa Kubrow and also Necros just to show it does not work anymore. We're going to go over the patch notes. Okay, so there's some other things that change like some uh, tank stat changes for the Thrax units which potentially might influence endurance runs on Void Cascade. But it's just funny how they're nerfing Necros before they even make the update playable for a lot of people. So we'll see if it's playable today while we go over these patch notes. I really appreciate all the support today guys. Uh, all the support lately in general. So yeah, let's start it up right here. So we got update 31.5.4. So the first thing we go over here is we have survivability changes for the operator. People were complaining about nearly everything involving the focus changes, mostly for good reason. And uh, one of the things that they've latched onto so far is that survivability for operators is not very good feeling. So let's start off with giving shield gating for operators. So yes, brief respite working operators was intended. And it actually, you know, it's funny, they actually kind of nerfed the shield gating potential with operators because brief respite was working uh, but now operators have a base 350 shield so go over these stats right here um, in order increased operators base base health from 250 to 350 remember you can have that scale with uh, different like operator uh, way bounds so for example my operator i think has like a thousand ish health right now let's take a quick peek now a lot of stuff involving operators still gonna be in a rant video like tomorrow so don't you worry about that so my operator with every waybound, and we're on uh, we're on Naramon right now. We got 1,050 health, 350 shield. So I basically got double the health that my Ash Prime has with no health mods, and with no decay and drain key, I've got like triple the shields. So what you can do now is you can actually just face tank a hit from enemy. Now this guy's got magnetic proc, so maybe not the best idea to test against him. But let's just get like a bombard or something, uh, a rocket launcher. So pretty pretty slow projectile, pretty easy to predict when it's get there. We've got brief respite equipped on our frame. So I take the rocket. I face tank the rocket. I use it again. That guy's stunned. I used the uh, uh, brief respite. I got some shield back. Shield's already regening. Uh, I could just keep face tanking these rockets with uh, with shields. So, yeah, that's something you can potentially do with the operator now. Of course, this is just one enemy here. So, um, you know, it's not exactly normal use cases in mission because you usually usually be surrounded by enemies. Um, but, you know, that's the first thing. You got some more health. You got some more... Uh, you, you have shields now. Operator did not have shields before. So, um, that's something you could potentially do. Increase the operator's base armor from 25 to 75. Let's not take that lightly. I mean, that's a tripling of the base armor of the operator, which does scale with, you know, Unairu waybounds... Or, no, Unairu perks and stuff like that. So, triple the base armor of the operator. Like we said, added the 350 base shields of the operator. Now, since that shield is so high and the decaying dragon key does not work on the operator, you will not be able to perma invincible shield gate. You'll just be able to have like a lower duration shield gate um, with the operator because 350 shields is pretty hard to get all that back at once. Um, so you, their, their, their idea is that shield gating will make it so you have some time to go back to your frame without your operator getting one shot because they actually added a... Uh, a thing where if you die four times as the operator, I think you just permanent or instantly die as the frame afterwards. So they're trying to alleviate that uh, annoyance because it is annoying, I guess. It hasn't happened to me yet, but I, I know it does happen, so that would be annoying. Added 200% armor to Enduring Tides. Changed to be a stacking multiplier instead of a multiplicative multiplier to match math logic used for other buffs while not making additional health and armor increases scale further than desired. They're already being conservative with these changes, the operator survivability. Like, really, DE? Why, why are you, like, trying to, like, rein it in already? We haven't even gotten to play the freaking update yet. We we have test servers we don't even use. Like, why are you already writing this in? So, Enduring Tides, I believe, is from... Is it from Vazarin? Um, Rejuvenate Enduring Tides. Increases the operator health and armor by 200%. So, let's switch to Vazarin and see how much higher our health is. That might actually be the way bound, so... Yeah, that is the way bound. So if you have the way bound, you're looking at 1050 health. I mean, sure. I, I, for normal levels, I guess it would be okay. It's not going to do anything in endurance. The shield getting is almost going to matter in endurance. 
because uh, survivability in this game is a complete joke and a complete mess. But uh, they've also buffed Operator Arcane's Magus Vigors, and they give it 600 extra health, and Magus Husk is going to give 250 armor. So, to recap, they've changed the math uh, behind Enduring Tides, raised the floor of survivability of the Operator, and provide some buffs to Magus, Vigor, and Husk. They're also taking more feedback, so keep complaining. You might be able to get stuff changed. All right, and moving on. So that's, that's the Operator survivability stuff. Basically, shield gating as Operator now will make it so you're not going to instantly die at high levels when you are in operator because some of these new game modes require you to be an operator to break like these new objectives open and but but the, the problem is you're surrounded by enemies while doing that so the brief moment you you drop out of invis to like um to break like the new cascade objectives the thrax guy or like some enemy behind you just shoots you once and you're dead so adding shield getting for the operator was necessary uh if you want to like actually play the new game modes but you can't even play the new game modes yet because the, the game is so buggy and the update is like unplayable so yeah, um, like I said, this is not a rant video. The rant video is definitely coming, and this, this, this these changes do not alleviate any of any of the woes of the rant video for the most part. Moving on to general operator focus changes. Also, here is the um, in the background footage you can see right here. I am running uh, Necros with a Chessa Kubrow. We are gonna uh, the desecrate does not work, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that change as well. Um, well, actually, no, Desecrate works, but it gave me an extra health orb instead of a pinion. Because you will never get double pinion or double arcane ever again. Because, lol, why would we fix things when we could just nerf things instead? Now, to be fair, it was not intended, I guess. But we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, reduce the slight field of view shift when using Void Sling from 0.5 to 0.2 to address reports of field of view inducing nausea. So they're not changing Void Sling to like make it like not slow or like lose functionality and like speed compared to before. They're just making it so it doesn't give you nausea as much. And there's your extra health orb for your efforts of playing through a Steel Path mission as Necros with a terrible companion that goes down every couple of seconds because companion survival building this game is a complete disaster and they don't even care. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, Clarified Void Regen's description that it applies to squad members, not just operators. Fixed Unairu's Magnetic Flare, able to completely remove the Prophet Digger's shield in one cast. Lol. Fixed Matterize Power Transfer effect, not refreshing when Retrigger was active. While active. Okay, so now if you're switching between Operator and Frame on Matterai now, you will always have that buff. Because it apparently wasn't refreshing before. The main problem is it takes so long to go back and forth between the frame and the the, uh, the operator compared to before. It's like it ruined Magus Anomaly. It basically ruined Magus Elevate. Like, I've switched to Magus Repair. I was already using Magus Repair before, but... Yeah, this is like one of the biggest problems here for me. And that will be in the rant video for sure, so don't you worry. Um, yeah, but the bug fix is there, I suppose. And then moving on here, we have... Um, Fix an unintended extra cooldown from going to Operator and Warframe and back. Okay, <laughs> that made it sound like they were fixing the thing I was just showing you there like two seconds ago, but they're not actually. That's intended. Because mobile phones um, fix an incorrect sound being played when transferred between the Operator and the Warframe. Fix Zaku being unable to cast the Vast on time. All right, now here we are. These changes are actually going to influence endurance runs for the new Zeramon game modes. And I've already tested that a little bit, and it feels like they actually made the enemies easier, but that was only on, like, the first base Steel Path version. I'm sure F over time they'll become stronger, hopefully, because um, I think endurance should be as hard as possible. Like, I've, my personal belief is that endurance runs should be near impossible. Even if you have all the best gear in the game, like, the best Rivens, all that... Endure hitting level 10,000 should be a complete struggle. It should not be a walk in the park parlor trick like it is nowadays. Anyone that thinks they're super impressive because they can hit level 10,000 nowadays, you got shield getting and all this easy stuff nowadays. So don't even don't even try to get on me about, oh, you just don't do them anymore. I don't do them anymore because they're easy. And now that once we get some bug fixes, I'm going to start doing them again. All right, so you best wait. You best wait and watch. All right, so they've reduced the overall health of the Thrax unit. Well, they've reduced the maximum health of the Thrax units. These new, like, Scythe, Vomilus kind of guys uh, that, like, charge you. And they're, they're actually pretty cool enemies. Um, but they, you know, the Thrax Centurion specifically is, is pretty tanky. Um, let's just take a look at what this guy can do in the Simulacrum really quick. Once, he's about to kill me instantly. These guys are, like, they're, they're no joke, you know. They, and apparently they're, they're tankier now. So when they slash you a magnetic proc, which, you know... I think it drains your energy. Yeah, it's draining my energy. They've got Overguard, which the Overguard was reduced in effectiveness. So it's not too hard to break. 
And also, once you kill them, they go into Vomilus form, which you have to use your Operator Amp to kill them in. So, they've got a good amount of stuff to them. Um, and when you're doing Void Cascade, which is one of the game modes I recommend for Endurance going forward, um, those guys can, you know, they're, they're, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, and there's lots of Eximus. So, there's lots of Overguard, lots of tankiness. Uh, so, But this, this change is actually made for the Angels of Zeramon quest, because we're talking about Endurance runs and, like, yeah, yeah, Steel Path, Vomilist, and all this. This is for the base version quest. So the MR5s are rolling in after the new war with that Necromech they bought with Plat, probably. And they can't even do the normal quest. So we're not going to talk about that, but this is affecting the Steel Path from what I can tell. So they've reduced the max overguard amount. I think this max overguard reduction thing is applying to the Steel Path, which is why those guys felt easier. Um, reduced the Thrax unit's armor. Yikes. Um, you should probably remove their armor at high levels anyway because they have a lot of it. But yeah, and also lower the enemy count. As we continue to review feedback, there is going to be a continuation, a content, content, continuation of difficulty feedback during portions of the quest. It's buggy. It's not hard. It's buggy. I can't even complete the mission because of the Void Angel just giving zeros for some reason. If people are really complaining about the quest, like, come on, this is supposed to be a late game tile set. Why are we catering to these these people? Whatever. While the quest may be easy to complete for some, we want to find accommodations for those play people who have been struggling to move past certain stages. Dude, it, I, I, it already is affecting the steel path and making the steel path easier. Stop doing this. If you are this bad and you are on the Zeramon ship, you need to go rethink what you have on your weapons. You need to rethink what weapons you have equipped, what frames you have equipped. Even I, I'm dead, I'm dead in the gameplay footage, you know? Like, it's not just supposed to be an easy walk in the park breeze. People have asked for difficulty. Apparently not the guy playing the quest. He can't even kill one Thrax enemy. Dang, dude. This is like, pathetic. Added a pop-up before the beginning of the Angels of Zeramon quest to prevent players, to prepare players for, who've, for what's up ahead based on several conditions. Who, who freaking cares? No one cares about that. Reduce the number of Eximus in the Master Rank Set 27 test. Yeah, because I'm Master Rank 27 complaining about Eximus. <laughs> who are these guys complaining? This is the second Master Rank test has been nerfed since this update. The MR30 test got nerfed down, and now the 27? What's next, the MR6 test? Hey, my buddy from, uh, this guy I met at the gas station and said play Warframe, he, he complained to me the other day when I went to the gas station that the MR6 test was hard. He, he failed it once. So let's go ahead and nerf that down. Like, dude, what, what is this stuff? The Void Shell skins now have different uh, color customization when you're using certain colors. Basically, you can't have Shadow Volt, Shadow Saren anymore. Uh, I haven't actually tried it myself to see what it looks like. Um, but, yeah, it, it looks different now, apparently. Let's see what the uh, the new version looks like while we're here. All right, so it's new Void Shell skins. Uh, I think there's one for Saren and Volt. So let's go to Saren's fashion frame. And it was like the Shadow Saren before. That's the wrong one. Here we go. So this is what it is looking like now. Kind of looks like greenish. Maybe it's like the uh, lighting of the room. Uh, I probably won't stick with that anymore. Just go with this one. Um, but, yeah, that, that got changed. I don't really care, but it was just, it was funny. Um, slightly increased the ribbon sliver drop chance from X mission to the non steel path. Um, disabled this thing, disabled that thing. Oricon drones, this and that, all around here. Zeramon mission changes and fixes. Decrease the number of globes you need for the void flood uh, from that much to this much so that it's easier to do it now. Potential fixes towards Thrax not spawning. See, this is what we're. This is what I'm talking about. This is why this is an infuriating hot fix. Potential fixes. There, there, there may be more fixes towards making the void flood rewards not given to clients. You don't even get loot for playing the missions as a client right now, and it's still not fixed. More fixes towards fixing that, not actually fixed. So they're nerfing Necros working on these void angels before actually fixing the game and making it playable. So. My, my advice of don't play it for another week is, is still standing because it still is probably not even fully playable. Fixed void manifestations uh, at times being invincible after destroying orbs. <laughs> That's like the third time they fixed that. Um, fixed loss of functionality when the client rapidly transfers back into Warframe after being... <sighs> yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe someday we'll actually have a playable update. Um, fixed a crash and a bounty. Fix a Thrax unit. Okay, this Thrax unit not match enemy levels. This will also potentially influence Endurance. Those guys are pretty tanky. Uh, but like I said earlier today, they're not feeling super tanky. So we'll see. Like If it's a level 10,000 Thrax unit, is he going to feel like unkillable? Because he might. He, he might at this point. Um, in a good way. Good, good way to be unkillable. I want Endurance to be impossible. 
near impossible. Uh, fix Zeramon bounties, doing that, doing this. Okay, so a bunch of this stuff is just tiny little fixes. Here's the biggest one we've talked about the whole update. Fixed Necros Desecrate and Hydroids Pilfering Swarm being able to duplicate the Void Plume Pinion and Arcane Drops from the Void Manifestation fights. If you watch the FOMO Farm Do This Before It Gets Nerfed video on Friday night that I put out, that video does not work anymore. As shown in the gameplay footage in the background, you you will Desecrate will go off, but you will get a Health Orb. I don't think you will ever be able to get double arcane, double pinion ever again. Even with a mod booster on the steel path with four necros. They didn't technically put Chessa Kubrow in here, but like I said, I have Chessa Kubrow in this gameplay footage. I heard the Desecrate sound effect go off, but it was just a health orb. So I'm guessing Chessa Kubrow is like similar coding to the uh, Desecrate. But you know, that, might, that might require some more testing. Maybe Chessa Kubrow works. Probably not though. Like more than likely not from like my quick test. So... Yeah, that is uh, that was apparently a top priority fix. You know, not making Void Armageddon playable, not uh, you know, not making gyre drop rates. Oh, by the way, that gyre drop rates were completely bugged last week, and like it was like an oopsie. Oh yeah, we made it like that an accident. Good people, good thing people bought it out of frustration. That'll be in the rant video too. Fixed Ivaro's Prowl pickpocketing the Thrax unit. Another loot ability doesn't work on Thrax. They do. They want you to. They want you to be playing this update for months and months because those arcanes cost rep. Farming them from from enemies is going to be a giant pain in the butt now. Like you are, I honestly feel like just killing Thrax units with like their ten percent drop rate in the Steel Path might be better than than Void Angel because Void Angel is like what twenty percent. Yeah, it's it, it's rough. It's rough either way you look at it. So, yikes. Um, fix the Void Energy. There's the Energy Leech Exmas being double the effect on clients. Okay. Fix the arcanes from the Void Angel displaying is all common. Okay, I didn't even know they had rarities. That's funny. And the rest of this stuff is kind of like whatever. Um, you know, bug fixes that are unexciting. Basically, the biggest things here: loot abilities no longer work with the arcanes. Um, oh, the steel. The, there's no steel path bounty for the uh, for the Zeramon ship, but we were making our own steel path bounty, and that got fixed. When when are we gonna get a steel path bounty for the uh, Zeramon ship, DE? Apparently you like to remove our options, but not give us more options. Uh, and then the big other thing is survivability changes for the operator, mostly the shield gating. Um, and the health thing will matter for normal levels, but let's just see. Like, can I face tank a rocket as my operator here? Let's let's take a quick look. With um, Let's see what focus school will go on. We're on Nairu. I don't remember if Nairu has any tank buffs. It probably does. And let's get like a level, let's get like a level 100, mm, how about Lancer? Yeah, that should be fine. A Lancer. Arid Lancer level 100. Actually, this would be more appropriate. It'll be like level 50. Okay, let's see how long the level 50 Lancer can shoot my Mega Max dot Operator. Not with, with no survivability arcane, so to be fair. Okay, so my shield actually is relatively strong. Remember, shields do have innate damage reduction. And I can just shield gate and cheese this guy really hard. My cat might actually kill him before he can even shoot me. Hey, 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 over here. I'm over here. Stop that. Stop that cat. I want to get shot. Dang it. All right, we're going to unequip the cat. Uh, seemed like we were actually pretty tanky at level 50s, though. So that's that's cool. That's a good change. Um, but like I said, mostly for shield getting for endurance. Because your operator won't get one shot now. It will get two shot. Unless you shield gate. And then in that case, you can potentially survive for a little bit longer. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, this is a good change, I'd say. Void Sling still feels really bad as a long-term player. Um... Oh, the health is definitely going down a lot faster, though, than the shield. So, you know, it, it is, this is a thing. You know, I could two-shot this guy if I felt like it with my amp. So, you know, some good changes with some really bad changes and also some, like, why why was this a priority kind of change? Like, I was having so much fun doing the Void Angel um, Acolyte, like, Steel Path Fiesta that I'm kind of bummed that got removed. That was, like, one of my favorite things with the update. So, yeah, hopefully this... You guys found this video helpful. Uh, moving over basically all of it. Rant video tomorrow or the next day. Uh, Fenmore video coming out soon. Latham video coming out soon. And Gyre video probably soon after that. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you next time, my dudes. Uh, it's not my fault I got nerfed either. You're welcome. Bye.